Welcome everyone, in this video we will use Newton's method to approximate the value of E. Now, if you haven't seen my uh, last two videos about Newton's method, the first one was about the method itself, and in the second video I used it to approximate the value of pi. If you haven't seen those two, please go ahead and do so, but if you did see them and you just or you just want to continue in this video let's get started as i said we will approximate the value of e using newton's method in order to use newton's method we need to we need to choose ourselves a function that has uh, the number that we are interested in as one of its roots so the question becomes which function has e as one of its roots so to which formula if we plug in e we will get zero you can think about it a little bit there might be a couple of other functions there probably are infinitely many functions actually actually but the one that i will choose is ln of x minus one now as i said if we you plug in e for x you will have ln of e minus one ln of e by definition simply means one and then we have minus one so it is equal to zero this means that if we were to graph our function we would see that one of its roots and actually it is its only root is e so we can use newton's method because newton's method is used to approximate the values of roots well we also need its derivative so what is the derivative of our function f of x one here is a constant so we will only take the derivative of ln x ln of x and i know i didn't prove this in a video but i will prove it in a future video hopefully but for now just take my word that the derivative of ln of x ln of x with respect to x is simply equal to one divided by x so since we got that out of the way we can now write newton's formula for his method the formula says to find the n plus one term you need to take the last one and you need to subtract f of xn divide by f prime of xn which simply means the derivative evaluated at xn so let's just make the, modify this equation so that it fits our case it fits our case we have xn minus f of xn we simply have ln x minus 1 divided by what is the the derivative function it is right here so i write it 1 over x and of course i should put ns as subscripts here because we aren't interested in the function or its derivative function itself we are interested at their values evaluated at uh, xn at a given x coordinate then we could well let me do it here xn minus xn we have a parenthesis here and then xn minus one and if we were to factor out one xn we would have one minus ln x and then plus one so our simplified equation looks like this two minus ln xn great so we will use this we will use this formula that we derived from newton's formula to fit our case we will use it to approximate the value of e you probably know that e is between 2 and 3 it is greater than 2 and it is uh, less than 3 it is actually something like 2.7 but let's say that you don't know it is 2.7 so you just choose 2 as your starting point you make 2 as a guess so your x naught is equal to 2 well then your x1 will be simply equal to you will have from the formula that we derived 2 times 2 minus ln 2 if you do that you will get and i am using my calculator to compute this value you will get 
then if you if you iterate for x2 you will simply instead of the twos here you will plug this thing here and if you do that and i won't write it maybe i should just write it like this yeah i think this is better much simpler if you do that let's see what you get using your calculator 2.7162 43926 and if you do x3 using the same idea you will have 2.71828106 now at this point you might be wondering what is the value of e well the value of e is as far as my calculator can give me it is 2.71828.1828. So as you can see, we are very close to it. We are incredibly close at this point, right? These, this part is the same as the value that my calculator is giving me. So maybe we should do another iteration, right? Let's see what x4 will give us. And using the, using the formula that we derived, I will find the value of this one as well 2 minus and then answer and yep this is the point that we reach the same level of precision as our calculator and it took us let's see one two three four it took us four iterations and that was the case with pi as well so using four iterations four iterations we were as precise as the calculator that we were using at least the calculator that i am using because as you can see the value that we got completely matches the value that we see on our calculator when we type e so this was it for this video i used newton's method to approximate the value of e if you have any questions, please write them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.